let's take a look at acceleration. And we want to make sure that this unit right here, this meters per second per second, I want to know what that means. Well, it looks kind of confusing to me, Mr. Arrow, because it's got two divide signs in it. Okay, two divide signs, and so it's not just three meters per second. It's three meters per second per second. If it was just three meters per second, what would that mean? Okay, well, that is a velocity or a speed. So that means every second you travel three meters. Okay, so three meters is a distance you travel in each second. So if you started like at the reference point or the origin, in the first second you would have gone three meters, and the second second you would have gone to six, and the third you would have okay. gone to nine, and so on. So really this is telling me a rate how far I'm moving in a second. Mm -hmm. Well, this takes that one step further. Instead of saying how far I'm moving in a second, it's telling me how much my speed changes in a second. So a velocity tells me how much my position changes. It changes three meters each second. An acceleration tells me how much the velocity changes each second. Oh, okay. Okay, so now it says acceleration three meters per second in each second. So every second your velocity changes three meters per second. Right, and it's a positive three meters per second, which means my velocity becomes more positive. So let's take a look at what that means. At time zero, t zero, I said my velocity was equal to negative five meters per second. Now, what does that negative mean? That means that you're going at a speed of five meters per second, but that negative means you're going toward the reference point instead of away from it. Right, so this is a direction, this is the magnitude, together it's a vector, okay? Now, if my acceleration is a constant one or three meters per second each second. And that's a positive three, right? It's a positive three. So do I just take negative five plus three and you get do. negative two you meters do. per second? Negative two meters per second. Because you just got more positive by three meters per second. So I'm still moving toward the reference point. I'm just going slower now. Right. So we think of acceleration as always speeding up, but it doesn't have to be that way. Acceleration can be speeding okay, up or so slowing down. Okay, so I've got a down. positive acceleration, but I slow down in this. Right, because, because I'm moving toward the you're detector. moving towards it. So T2, uh, one second later. So I add three to it again. So negative two plus three gets me a positive one meters per second. Positive one meters per second. Okay, so what happened? Okay, so negative two, I was moving toward the detector, and then I must have slowed down and then got to zero meters per second. And now if I'm at positive one, that means I'm now moving away from the detector at a positive one or one meter, meter per, per second. second. Exactly, okay. So if we go one more second, T3. Okay, T3 would be positive four. Positive, one plus three. Okay, positive four meters per second. So you're still getting more positive by three meters per second each second. But now I'm getting faster. Now you're getting away. faster. And so now your acceleration is positive, your velocity is positive, they agree with each other, and so your I'm speed is faster. increasing. Okay, so T4, four so seconds. four plus three would be seven meters seven per second. Seven meters per second. Moving away at seven meters per second. So this acceleration doesn't tell me how fast we're going, doesn't tell me where we're at, doesn't tell me which direction we're moving. All it says is every second, your speed is getting either more positive or more negative by this much. Okay, This one's a positive acceleration, so it gets more positive every second. Great. Okay.